Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you about how I like to handle logging users out. And this is in the context of an application that's using GraphQL and Apollo client on the front end. Now here is one way to do it, and this is with using the new Apollo consumer component. Now how I see this working is the user will usually click on a button called log out. And so what that would do is it would take you to a uh, page it would link you to a different page and uh, this component would be rendered and now what this would do is it would use the Apollo consumer um, component and this is coming from react Apollo this is the one of the new ones and inside of this it's giving you this thing called client and this is actually gives you direct access to the Apollo client or the Apollo store where all your data is stored now it's very important because Apollo automatically caches it to get rid of that data whenever you're logging a user out. So that's why you'll see me doing right here, I'll be resetting the store. Um, so what that's gonna do is it's gonna wipe uh, all of Apollo's cache and um, you're good to go after that. And so you won't have a problem with basically having other users cache data. So that's a very important thing to do. For the next thing, if you're using local storage to store a token, which I've done before, you want to just get rid of that so you can set uh, the item and uh, whatever you call it so for, for example token and then just set it to an empty string and then you might redirect them after this to a different page like login or whatever you want to do after you log them out so this is one way to do logout that's very simple and very easy um, with like 10 lines of code using the new Apollo component now this is not the only way to do it. Sometimes you can't just clear the token and you're good. So you might be using cookies or you're storing something on the server side. So here's another way that I also like to handle logouts. So there is this higher order component called with Apollo that does basically the same thing as the Apollo consumer. It adds in your props a um, client and this is, has direct access to Apollo store again. So what I'll do is when this uh, logout component gets mounted, um, I'll first grab the client from the props, and then I might call a logout mutation, and then just await the response of this. Now, uh, the cool thing about the Apollo client is you can call query and mutations uh, from it, so I don't have to actually wrap this with a GraphQL higher order component. I can just say client.mutate, and then I pass in the mutation that I want to run like this. So I might have a mutation that uh, just calls logout and that maybe will clear the, the cookie for me um, or does something on the server side that you need to do when logging a user out. And then lastly again I will reset the store on the client. And then for the render function of logout I'll either just say hey you got logged out um, and then maybe I'll have a link or maybe I'll, re I'll render them or switch the page uh, once the uh, this has finished running and so yeah this gives you kind of two views of how you might do logout uh, I kinda just coded these in a separate little project so this would work in really any project uh, it doesn't matter what you're using um, but either of these should work uh, depending on whether you're using local storage or you need to clear the cookies using a mutation like this so I hope that helps, and uh, let me know if you have any other questions associated with logging users out or uh, how you'd handle that. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.